All right, let's talk some Patrick Mahomes. Now, uh, there was definitely a brief second on Twitter where he was getting called washed up, or maybe not washed up, but the he's been figured out. That's the term that people kept using, which was very dumb and stupid. Uh, Mahomes is not figured out. Now, he did have some bad plays. We will talk about those bad plays. You can argue he's not playing what we expect him to play like, uh, but figured out is just, it's, it's not true. Although, again, I would still make the argument, like, teams are realizing, hey, uh, when you play cover two, that's a much better way to stop Mahomes and, you know, and don't blitz. People are realizing that stuff, but really, I mean, that's kind of what happens to every good offense is teams start uh, figuring out how to, you know, uh, I guess I just use the term, figure out. They start realizing what the best coverage to use against you is, and you have to find ways to do that. And maybe you could argue they haven't found the best ways to do that. But in terms of just Mahomes and how he's playing, let's talk about what he did well. And actually, let's start off with what he did not so well. So let's start off with this one. Let's start off with the play that we're all going to want to talk about. So I'm going to pause it right here. Uh, this is the one that he was getting a lot of criticism for. And you know what? Rightfully so. Although let's actually talk about what happens on this play. This is not a passing play, at least not by design. This is supposed to be a handoff on third down and one. But the issue is going to be the snap. Mahomes fumbles the snap right here. I don't know if that's on the center or on him. Uh, it looked like it was on him, but hard to tell from this angle. So that kind of blows the play up. On a third down and one, the reality is at this point, Mahomes clearly should go down. I mean, nobody is even looking in his direction. I think what he's trying to do is just throw the ball away. That's what I think. I hope I hope that's what he's trying to do here. Just get rid of the ball so that way it's a fourth down and one where maybe they can go for it. Uh, but clearly in this spot, just go down, take the three points right here. You don't even, I mean, they probably would have gone for it, but maybe not because, again, 30 seconds left in the half. It's not like they have all day to do it anyways. Uh, I, I get the, the reasoning for wanting to throw this ball away. Probably not the best decision. Although, again, Usually, he does successfully throw this ball away. However, this time, the ball slips out of his hands and ends up going straight to a Washington football team defender. So, that's kind of a, you know, it's not a great play. Is it horrible? No, uh, it's not. It looks horrible, but the actual like reasoning behind it, I kind of do understand, especially with the chaos of fumbling the snap, has to make a quick decision, made the wrong one, and then the ball slipped out of his hand. Kind of is what it is. Also, the other interception, uh, this one was, I mean, this straight up just was not uh, his fault whatsoever. It's going to be, so the concept is designed to get the ball to Tyree Kill underneath. He can pick up some yards, maybe even a touchdown if things work out perfectly against this zone coverage concept. Pretty simple. It's a pretty low risk uh, maybe low reward-ish type play. And watch how Mahomes takes a snap, does run a play action, and at this point, I'm pausing it right here when he has to make his decision, Hill is clearly open. This is a good decision to make this throw, and even watch the throw. It's right on the money, but Hill kind of slips a little bit, and then the ball, you know, gets knocked off his hands and intercepted. So, uh, I think you can't really have it both ways. Either Mahomes deserved blame for the dropped interceptions last year, or Mah Mahomes uh, you know, deserves blame for these interceptions. Uh, you can't say that he deserves blame last year, but then he uh, also deserves blame this year. It's one or the other. In my opinion, I think it's no big deal. I think that uh, there was a little bit of luck that went his way last year, and then I think uh, luck has gone very much in the other direction this year. So it's not like he's always going to be like throwing interceptions like this. No, it's just that he's been unlucky. Even this was kind of another example where what's going to happen is that it's zone coverage and Hill's running a route over the middle. You know, weirdly, no one's saying, hey, what's going on if the Chiefs receiver's not catching? What's going on with Tyreek Hill making some bad plays? It's all what's going on with Mahomes. Anyways, it's zone coverage. Hill's running a route over the middle. Watch what happens. Mahomes takes a snap right here, and clearly, you know, the play action worked. He should make this throw, right? That's what he totally should do. However, Hill falls down, and it's another dropped interception. So I thought that was kind of funny, right? The narrative is that he had so many dropped interceptions last year, and now it's catching up with him, even though I don't really think that's true. Well, he's still getting dropped interceptions even this year. thought that was kind of funny. But like the flip side of Mahomes is stuff like this, where what's going to happen is that it's going to be man coverage. You have McCall Hardman running a go route in a one-on-one -on -one matchup, so single safety deep. Uh, you know, Mahomes is going to look in a certain direction and, you know, Hardman running a go route on the sideline. It's a good route to throw to against this kind of concept. And watch how right when this play starts, so Mahomes, you know, reads the safety, then throws it over. So uh, not a ton of separation, and the safety is kind of further over towards the middle of the field, largely due to Mahomes looking over the middle at first. 
there's not a huge window, but Mahomes could make, uh, you know, can take deep shots down the field with insane accuracy. Watch him. I mean, that's just a perfect throw. Hardman makes the catch and, you know, nearly gets a touchdown on that one. You get a big chunk play. So, okay, Mahomes had a couple of tough plays, but then he had stuff like this that just completely made up for it, in my opinion. Like, this one's another example where what's going to happen on this play is that it's going to be zone coverage this time, so it's going to be a cover three zone. Uh, you have a receiver who's running around that, you know, could get into a gap in coverage, but really the way that you're going to want to do this for Mahomes to hit Byron Pringle, that's the receiver whose route you see on the screen, uh, it's going to take a little bit of, you know, a little bit of elbow grease to get this ball through, right? He's going to have to throw it uh, with some mustard on it. But watch how right when this play starts, Mahomes is going to, you know, throw basically a laser. You see that this appears to be open, and it's not like the most difficult throw you'll ever see, but it's also not like the most uh, open throw you'll ever see. He had to get it there and in a hurry as the safety is coming down to try and make the play. However, Mahomes does make this throw. Uh, they're able to pick up a good amount of yards there. So again, stuff like that, Mahomes is able to do well. Part of, I think, why Mahomes has the narrative of he's looking bad is because people are only showing the negative plays now, not the positives, because we're used to seeing the positives from Mahomes. I think if you want to talk about one thing that the Kansas City Chiefs probably do need to do better, it's probably run the football better, um, because teams play cover two against them a lot, so it should be easy for them to run with the football, and, but despite that, they still have under four yards per attempt, so... Uh, that's a concern. I think that's something you could say. It. Yeah, you got to get better at that. Um, and Mahomes statistically ended up having like a kind of a, a very up and down day, right? Uh, he got a ton of yards, but not the best efficiency, but still like solid efficiency uh, with, you know, uh, you know, when you get where you're getting over 40 attempts, like it's going to be kind of the numbers are going to be a bit wonky. It's the two interceptions that looks rough, but the rest of it was incredible. So there was some negatives. By far and away, the good is outweighing the bad of Patrick Mahomes. That should go without saying. Mahomes is an incredible talent, and he's continuing to show it. Uh, I think it's fair to say he hasn't played like the best quarterback in football so far uh, through six games. I also think it's insane to say that the league has figured him out. Uh, that just uh, maybe maybe a little bit the Chiefs offense, but not Mahomes. That's what I think. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.